Hi, I'm Kirsty Oriel and I'm a freelance seamstress working in the costume and bridal industry. I'm currently based in Tunbridge Wells in Kent. This video is just to give you a bit of background about me, my education and the steps I've taken towards my career. From an early age, I was encouraged to be creative at home. My mum had a sewing machine and I remember her teaching me how to use it. I was always playing around with scraps of fabric and seeing what I could come up with. I think one of the first examples of me making a garment would have been making a tiny little skirt for one of my Barbie dolls. This was the start and I progressed from there. When I started secondary school, textiles was a subject that was on the curriculum for everyone for the first three years, but it soon became one of my favourite subjects. And this was partly due to my teacher. She was so passionate about her subject and she really encouraged people who showed an interest. And looking back, I think she was instrumental in getting me to where I am today. I chose to study textiles at GCSE level and then went on to do AS and A-level textiles. I didn't have a clear vision about where I wanted to go with my career from there, but it was a subject that I loved, so I wanted to continue studying with it. For my A-level practical project, I chose to make an 18th century dress, which was inspired by Marie Antoinette. Uh, during the process of making this, it really channeled my focus into the costume side of the industry rather than fashion or design. When I started to think about what to do after my A-levels, I discovered that costume making was an option for a degree course, and this was something that really interested me. I went to view a few different institutions, but the place where I felt instantly at home was Rose Bruford College in Sidcup in Kent. They offer a degree in costume production and I applied to the course and was accepted. The degree course initially took us back to basics and we learned how to refine our sewing skills on every type of fabric imaginable. We were encouraged to work to a really high standard which stood me in good stead for when I graduated. I had the chance to make a huge range of uh, costumes throughout the degree, everything from 17th century corsetry to Japanese kimonos to modern day jeans and shirts. Being a drama school, Rose Bruford had two theatres on campus and actively encouraged collaboration between the different degree courses. There were several productions each year and the way it worked was that the theatre design students would come up with set and costume designs and then hand them over to the relevant departments. The costume production students would pick a design that they wanted to make and this would be made to fit one of the actors. The costume would be made completely from scratch and fittings would be done and ultimately we would end up with a perfectly fitting garment for one of the acting students. Once the show was up and running, the costume students would work backstage in the theatre in the wardrobe department. We would help maintain the costumes and act as dresses during the show. These roles were an accurate reflection of what it would be like to work in a professional theatrical environment. During the course, we were encouraged to do work experience and I spent several weeks at the Royal Opera House in their making department. This was a wonderful opportunity and cemented the decision that out of all the aspects of costume, it was the practical side of making that I wished to pursue. In our third year, we were allowed to choose anything we wanted to make for our final practical project. Inspired by my time spent at the Royal Opera House, I chose to make a classical ballet tutu for the character of the Lilac Fairy in the ballet Sleeping Beauty. This was a completely new skill that I had to learn, but I really enjoyed the process and was really happy with the end result. And for my dissertation, I chose to write about the concept of a fairy tale wedding, what that had meant throughout history and what it meant in today's society. I threw myself into my third year studies and I'm pleased to say that I graduated with a first class honours degree in costume production.